In this video, I'll share one of my favorite hacks for getting song ideas down quickly in Ableton Live, and that's by making your own template. This means that whenever you open up the app, you automatically get your favorite instruments, your favorite sounds, and plugins loaded so you can start making music straight away. This is particularly useful if you always begin your productions with just like a handful of instruments and audio tracks. For example, I always start my project with Ableton Stock Grand Piano, I have a 909 drum kit in there, and two empty audio tracks. And by creating a template with these four tracks, I can fire up Ableton and get started producing right away. So here's how to do it. Right, so I've got Ableton Live fired up right now and I'm gonna show you how to make a default template. As I mentioned earlier, I like starting my projects with a grand piano sound and a 909 drum kit, as well as two MT audio tracks because that's where I'm gonna be recording vocals or you know, like a guitar if I've got like a guitar plugged in or you know, some other instrument that would be picked up by a microphone or something like that. So let's start things off. I am going to add in my grand piano sound. I'm gonna go to sounds, I'm gonna go to piano and keys. And I'm gonna go to Grand Piano. There we are, just drag that over onto track number one. Got a piano in there now. And next, let's go to the drums. And as I mentioned, I like the 909. So I'm gonna get the 909 over there into track two. And then track three and track four, I will keep them as is because these will be the audio tracks. So I'm quite happy with this already. Now I am going to turn this into my default template. So to do that, I'm gonna go to Preferences, and then I'm gonna go to File Folder, and then I'm going to go to Save Current Set as Default, and I am going to click on Save. There you go, now I can just close Ableton. Don't even need to save that anymore. And whenever I launch Ableton Live, this is the template that is going to greet me. So I've got my grand piano over here. Play the piano, I've got my drums. And I've got my two audio tracks. Now, of course, you can, you know, change this to whatever you want. If you want to put in like strings, if you want to put in like a track that has like an empty simpler instrument in there, or maybe you want to have, you know, five drone tracks or like a percussion track going, it's entirely up to you. But the idea is to put your most commonly used instruments and plugins over in here. So every time that you open up Ableton Live, you are greeted with all of those instruments and plugins. Now you can do the same thing if you wanna add like say an effect plugin, let's say I wanna add like a compressor to my drums and I want that compressor to be there every single time that I open up a new project in Ableton Live. I just need to go to audio effects, let's drag compressor and I wanna, I want it to affect the entire drum rack. So I drop that in there and um, let's say, sure, let's put in like an EQ8 plugin. There we go. And let's say I want this to be part of my template. So as long as I've got it in there, just go to preferences, file folder, and just click on save. And yes, Live will ask if I wanna overwrite the default set, click okay. Now the cool thing about this is as you gain more experience in producing and as you get better, you know your way around the plugins more and you've got you know your go-to plugins or your go-to like reverbs, EQs and all that stuff, you can just keep adding on to this template and you can remove the ones or the instruments and the plugins that you don't need anymore because you know your style will always change especially as you gain more experience and the more time that you spend uh, behind the DAW screen. So there you go, that's how to set your own default template and able some life. Now I love this trick because it's so simple and easy to do but it gives your workflow a huge boost. Go ahead and try it. So that's it for this quick video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.